Hey there YouTube, it's Eclipse, and three moons, it's been a couple videos since you have heard my voice. Well, anyways, you probably guessed by the title of this video, I will be showing you how I draw humans, because I am currently working on the second batch of Ninjago Vines, and, and I received a request to show you how I draw humans. And, well, I thought it'd be a nice little filler between bouts of stupidity, and also, I apologize for the, the choppy and jerkiness in this video. I had to slow the time lapse way, way down in order to make it a reasonable speed so I can actually explain what I am doing. Well, with that aside, let's get into this. The first thing I'm going to be showing you how I draw is the head, as you can see by what I'm writing on screen. I start with an oval shape. Sometimes it takes me a couple of times to get it right. I divide it with crosshairs then figure out the eye shape based on the crosshairs after placing the nose. There's the ear, sometimes taking me a couple tries, and little eyebrows. As you can see from what I'm doing here, I have two main eye styles. One for cartoony things like the vines, one for her drawings that actually, you know, have pupils. Then I just decided to, in this drawing, add some hair and make this our good boy Lloyd. So there's that, and he's looking nice and cute. The next thing in this tutorial is how I do hands. I do fairly simplistic cartoony hands, just a shape, a scoopy shape for the thumb, three more scoopy shapes for the fingers. Here I'm demonstrating a couple little, little poses, like a fist and one finger raised. That's pretty simple. They're literally cartoon hands. Next up, the body. I ha start with the head and then build it from there with the neck which takes me a couple tries sometimes, then a curve for the back or the front, depending on which way the character is leaning, and then some legs. I have one main body type for guys, which I know I should change. Then then there's the arms. It sometimes takes me a couple tries to do arms, but I'm trying to figure out how to do different body types, but I do have a couple of different ones. Like, for characters who are gender non-binary or transgender, such as Alex Fierro from Magnus Chase and my OC Kage, I will do pretty flat up top and larger hips. Here I am moving them over so I have more room to do a couple other body types. There's some arms. Then I have a couple of different body types for girls. I have a basic hourglass one, which is what I'm trying to draw with this first guy. You can see that her hips and her chest are about the same. Then for this second girl, well, after I do the first one's arms because I forgot that. And I'm going to move these guys over again so I still have more room and they're about evenly spaced. For the second girl, after I figure out how I want her head to look, which might take a little while, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Then... For this second girl, I gave her larger hips, which is another body type I use for quite a few characters. You can see that her chest is much smaller than her hips. I'm figuring it out with the legs, I swear. I'm figuring it out. Next up, let's take a look at feet. I basically do these little squarish feet. There's not much to say about it. I also decided to demonstrate how I do a couple of different hairstyles. This first one is like a wavy girl's cut, sort of similar to Salil's. You can see how I tuck it behind her ear and send it curling out, and how this one falls next to her face. Hair is sometimes hard to judge. Then, for this next style, I looked at Nia's original haircut, with, you know, with the short bob. This one I really like, honestly. It's fun to draw, but her ponytail is also fun to draw. Then I thought I'd just do some spiky, like I do with Kai. One thing about how I draw Kai's hair, actually, I have standardized his hair at five spikes ever since I've started trying to animate him. And, well, there's this old Romeo and Juliet-based comic that I did once that shows why that's a good idea. And now let's have a look at putting it all together with the drawing of our good boy from the start of this video, Lloyd. You can see how I start with the head, move on to the body and legs. Then, once I finish his legs, I shorten them a little bit and add his feet. There's his other foot. Then up we go and onto his arms. 
uh, he decided to just have him in a fairly relaxed pose because poor baby never gets to relax in the show. And then there's a hand, and right about now is when I realize his arms are too long and start over on them. So here is attempt two at the arms. You can, as I mentioned, I'm going for a very relaxed pose. His hand is loose at his side. He's not holding a sword or anything. He's just really peaceful, just hanging out. I'm just filling space at this point with this audio. I'm sorry. <laughs> Onto his face. You can see I divide it at his nose. Then it takes me a couple tries to do his eye shape because I want to try and convey his personality through his eyes. That's a pretty good curve for the top of his eye, but it was too high up, so I moved it down a little. So you can see he has a fairly non-threatening eye shape. And you can tell I'm going to add a pupil later in this drawing because I didn't do my little eye shine loops. There's his ear, too. And I gave him a nice little smile. Some nice happy brows like he's saying hello to us. There's his bangs. And I and his hair. He's got nice hair. The, yeah, this takes a while. I slowed it down so you could actually see what I was doing. Maybe I slowed it down a bit too much, but I'm a little too lazy to go back and edit this again. Now I'm starting on his outfit. You can see how I did his sleeves. I'm going with his March of the Oni dragon gi, but I'm working without a reference because that's how I roll, and I'm just drawing a very simplified version of it. There's a little dragon on it. There are his boot tops. And here is my completed drawing of Lloyd, which I decided not to shade because I am lazy. Let me know if you found this tutorial helpful. I get it might have been a little vague and me saying a whole lot of nothing in places. This is the first time I've ever made a tutorial. Please let me know if it worked for you or if there's stuff I could improve on. Anyway, I really hope this helped and I will see you in my next video. Eclipse out!